Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am Sammy and I am back with another Timu haul and um, to see what I caught this time. So if you're interested, stay watching. Thank you. Okay, so everything that I have here will be listed down in the description box and I'll have the description and a link. Um, I don't have any other editing right now. I don't have any pictures, but I will tell you how much each item costs when I put it out. So I got a mini safety hammer and it is a vehicle multifunction device. So, you know, we all think about safety and our kids and what we would do and, um, how soon would someone get to us if we were really in trouble and what can we do to save ourselves? So one thing that really got me, um, I was watching a movie and this gentleman couldn't save his wife because they were underneath the water and in the car and he could not get her seatbelt off. And um, so <laughs> I went on Timu because I'm like, let me see if they have something. Sure enough, guess what? You put this on your keychain, first of all. You pull this off if you end up um, underwater, wherever, if you end up in a position, doesn't really matter, and you can't get your seatbelt off. You take this off of your keychain, you don't have to worry about trying to find it, it just pulls right off. It cuts off your seatbelt, and then because you're un if you're underwater, because you can't, you'll never hit the window hard enough to break it, this right here, I'm not going to demonstrate it in my hand because it will shatter. I bought three of these and I've already tried it out and um, it does work, but it will come with one of these to show you. So if you don't believe me, buy one. It comes with the glass and this is just as thick as your windshield or your, um, or your back shield. And you hit this underwater and all you have to do is press it and it will shatter. Um, I would suggest that if you ever end up having to use this, that for some reason if you end up underwater, cut your seat butt off first, allow the the car to stay afloat with all the water inside, cut your seat butt off first if you can't get out, and then hit the windshield or the back shield, leave the side windows alone. You're going to get caught on all kinds of things with clothing and all kinds of stuff. And if you have a sunroof and you think it's big enough, Get that sucker too, whatever, and then get on out of there. Anyway, so this right here was three dollars and a thirty-eight cents, and I really thought this was um, an excellent deal. You can't go wrong for safety. So I bought one for myself, one for my my son's uh, my grandson's mother, and I want bought one for my uh, grandson's uh, grandfather. So that no matter what and who has my grandson, they will always be able to keep him safe at all times. Amen. So the next thing I got, um, I got my very first haul. And I told you I was going to get another one. And I absolutely did. And it is, once again, the 50 milliliter push down button for, you can use this for... Um, facial cleansing like toner and essence or you can put your nail polish remover in here and and use it on that they're very versatile and um, yeah I still make up I can get more because I keep finding things that I could use different liquids in it and I don't want I want each one to have a different liquid and I don't want it to be the same one and once again it was still 98 cents so it was under dollar you can't beat that it's a cool little gadget. So the next thing I got in here is a wall-mounted wire basket. Um, you can either mount it on the wall and screw it in, because it does come with screws, or you can do a non-punch, uh, wall punch, with these little back ends right here. And it's really cute. It's nice and black. It's sleek. It uh, and they'll fit just up underneath, just like that. 
on each side and I got three of them I put one up already on the on the wall and um, I was waiting to see if it would hold up for these other two because I want to make sure that no matter where I put them because I got different places I want to put um, the third one so I tried one out and uh, it's held up pretty well so I'm going to show you what that looks like in just a second and there it is y'all sitting nicely on my wall with no uh, no hole punch and nothing and it has um, my my essence in there from the other bottle that I bought the first bottle I have my toners and my primers and my my um, face sprays so it's holding up nicely and it's been up there for a, about a week now and everything's just great I'm loving it perfect space uh, space saver it's really um, it's really saved me some, some space on my uh, on my vanity I'm loving it it's great so the other two I'm gonna put another one up all up there on my wall and then I'm gonna put one up in the bathroom I think so these are really nice and I'm so glad I got them but yeah cuz the whole set it was a one-piece wall but um oh so what I did was I bought three of them so each one is $7.98 but like I said um I had the not only the description but the cost and how many I bought in the actual description box so you shouldn't be uh, taken back by that because for a second there I thought Did I buy three of them for $7.98 that's too good to be true but it is <laughs> there are seven ninety eight of these whatever anyway so next so we do my, uh, my husband likes to do a lot of grilling and of course you have to grill outside and he didn't have anything to keep his clothes nice so yes we he did try it on to make sure that it fit and the only problem that he seemed to have was it, it wasn't as long as he would have liked but it's pretty long but then again he's like 5'11 so it comes down just to um, just below his waistline and stuff where his uh, where his jeans and uh, where his jeans his his jeans would stop right there and whatnot at the hip so that's where his jeans would start so that's pretty good it's not bad doesn't smell bad nice quality nothing wrong with the stitching pretty thick material nicely made I'm actually really impressed with this because this was only five dollars and eight cents I'm like really I mean look at that ain't nothing wrong with that stitching nothing and these little snaps they do such a nice job of snapping I don't have to I mean look at that you ain't got to worry about that coming off and the way it's designed back here so it stays on his shoulders and just sits right there that way he ain't gonna worry about it falling off so whether he wants to tie it in the back or not it's gonna be on him I actually really like that I like that for him and it's in his favorite color blue but then again all the men in my life's favorite color is blue I'm the only oddball out always I'm the green girl <laughs> oh well so next thing I got is this beautiful green silk sleeping bonnet. It's a soft silk. Oh my god. Is it ever so pretty? Oh yes. So because I'm such a hard sleeper, um, I've always tried um, different little headbands and stuff and, and um, those uh, bandanas and they never stay and I'm always trying to make sure that when I get my hair braided because my grandson's mother braids my hair and she does such a good job and they stay in for if I take care of it up to two weeks which is really good for me but now I actually found something that stayed on my head it's but you sleep in it and it is so pretty 
yeah I'm, I'm going to be ordering more of these because they were so inexpensive and it's so well made and it's so soft I can't believe it I'm really impressed I'm so excited my first bonnet yay okay so and that was a dollar for how are you going to find a soap bot dog <clears throat> if I can talk that to great? Where can you find a silk bonnet for $1.48? A real silk bonnet. Tell me. Come on now. That's a good price. I'm really impressed. So, next I got some vintage eyeglasses. And, um, so I thought these were... Um, gonna be bifocals, but they're not. They're so cute, but they're the blue locking glasses once again. So, and they come in their own case. Cute as pie. Love in the case. Check that out. And they come with their own little cloth, just like my, uh, my first pair of sunglasses from Timu. They came with their own cloth too. They just didn't come in this cute little little thing. And then the glasses themselves. Okay. This is taking me back to the days back in the 80s when these were in style. Yes. Yes. I'm digging them. So these were 338. I love it. I really do. I'm so happy I got this. So, then, oh, next. Okay, so, please, let me see. 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 So, I got, so next I got, um, this gorgeous bow angel, and it's fox pearl, because I have a few shirts, and, and later on down the road, when I do some demos, on the things that I've actually gotten because I've done some done some videos but I haven't quite done like like a true review yet so when I go to do some reviews I'll show this and this is so cute because what it does is that if you're if your bust line is too low plunging but you still want to wear that really pretty shirt but you're not about that showing off that life mm-hmm there you go a really cute inexpensive way to do it and this was 88 cents. Stuff like this, you don't normally get for under like maybe $10, $15. Even a little boutique. Oh, cute as pie. I'm loving it. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Anyhow, moving on. So then... Okay, so now this next one, this is a multifunctional uh, stainless steel, and it did come in, um, I got the small, uh, the small rack and the large rack, and um, they are sold separate, or no, they're not sold separate, I apologize, they are 1029, and they're the multifunctional stainless steel storage pack kitchen storage rack sink storage rack whatever so i did not exactly get it for the kitchen i got it for bedroom storage because we have a shelf in our bedroom that um just was just mm -mm, i wasn't having it i needed to be able to look over in that corner and and know that it, it was well organized and and the clutter is is no longer so yes I got this and I put this together and I have put this to use so this will be going back in the spot that it was in because I tell you what how it looked before and then after is amazing what shelving can do for space yes for a room I'm, I'm loving this but like I said this was 1029 and uh, let me see here see oh okay so because the way I'm reading this isn't exactly showing up right I don't think 
Um, so, wait a minute. So, I'm going to have everything in the description box. So, if I screw up here, verbally, um, my corrections will be down in that description box with the real deal, the actual real information, the truth, and not whatever's coming out my mouth right now. Because, um, apparently the small one is the 29, 10, 29, and the big one... It says 1389 but when I try to hit the 1389 it's coming up as 1029 so I'm kind of, I don't know what I'm doing wrong but like I said I was correct they do they are sold separately so 1029 1389 and you put them together yourself and they come with screws and I would suggest that you get a handy, um, a short Phillips head, a, a real screwdriver, not, not one of the ones that you would take, you know, to help you with your glasses or one of the travel ones that are, that are cool, but they're not as strong as you need it. It'll feel like you're stripping the screw when you're not, you're just not, you don't have enough pressure because it's not a real, it's like aluminum or whatever. So you need steel tools to do this. So it turned out great. I'm loving it. So next, and yes, I have been using this too. Um, I will admit because I wanted to see um, how good it was, if it was going to just last a couple days because I saw some reviews and this was where I was like, okay, let me at least try. Um, so 90% of the reviews are really good, but there was a few that were like, no, this is trash. So I wanted to see for myself, which, where I was going to fall in line. And if it just happens to be that maybe they got defective ones and everybody else got the good ones. Um, or maybe everybody got the same ones and the people that left bad reviews just felt that these weren't up to par. Um, now, if you want a $100 pair of headphones, wireless, bone-conducting headphones, um, and spend $100, then when it comes down to the sound, I'm probably going to agree with that. However, when I found that I like these better, because these are the Levi Levino, Lin Lin Linvo, I don't know how to pronounce that. Oh, you hurt your what? I don't know. It's a Think Plus uh, X3 Pro. It was 1948, and they sit on your head just like this. And they already had come with a charge, so that you could at least test them out. And then um, I think it lasted maybe 10 minutes. So then I had to go and do my own charge, and that was fine. I let it charge overnight. And um, so I had a pair of um, a different brand, a name brand, and I don't know if I would be allowed to say that or not, even though I'm not sponsored or anybody's paying me. I still don't know if that would be considered inappropriate. I don't know. So I'm not going to say the name brand, but I had already spent $100 on them and they lasted about a year. And the volume, yes, exceeded this. Um, not by a whole lot though, at least not in my opinion, because these are actually pretty loud. They're pretty good. Um, but what the other ones didn't do that these allow me to do, which I'm actually, um, okay with because the caveat to the not so loudness is that the old pair, if I had a phone call coming in, um, everything would stop and I wouldn't be able to do anything else. And if I try to play a game while I'm talking to somebody or a commercial pop-up or something, you know, it would interrupt the conversation and they would be able to hear what's going on. And if I tried to do other things with it, it would just, it, it only allowed me to do one function at a time, but the best thing about it was con bone, bone conducting and it was loud. So a hundred bucks, I felt like, okay, I'm getting my money's worth. So like I said, the difference between that one and these is it's not as loud. However, um, I've had several phone calls on it where um, I was able to switch over and it didn't hang up on the other person. I left 
was able to leave them on the other line. And then when I was playing my game, a commercial came up and I could hear the commercial, but the person I was talking to on the other end couldn't hear the commercial and it actually didn't interrupt our conversation. And it didn't interrupt the call. So I'm like, okay, these were $19.49. So my whole thought is they're 20 bucks. So if you do the math, my whole thought is even if they only lasted me three months at $40 and I had to buy them four times in a year, I'm spending $80. No, 20, 40, 60. Yeah, 20, 80 dollars four different times to go back and repurchase these if they break within the three month, three, four months, versus buying a hundred dollars for ones that don't have all the options and last for a year. I think I'd rather repurchase and they say that that twenty dollars. Because I really feel like that $20 really is only the name brand in that aspect. So, I'm actually happy with these. And if something happens and they stop working, then I'm just going to go back to Team Moon and buy me another pair. Maybe a backup pair. It's like, okay, well, I already know you're going to last three months. So, I'll use these until they're done. And then I'll use the other ones. I'm not spending 100 bucks a pop. For the only thing that I'm going to get from them is volume. Because I can't do anything else with them but either talk or play a game, or listen to music. I can't do all three things on the on the name brand ones, but I can on the cheapy ones. Yes. <laughs> so to me, my point of view for the price point and what they do, I think it's a steal. I love it. I'm down with it. Let's do let's do this. Yeah. Okay. So moving on. <laughs> Okay, so the next I bought um, two of these. One, um, the first one, they're sweater clips. Um, the first one was $1.49. And that was, let me see here, this beautiful pair. So, um, if I could, well, Succotash. Do I not have... Oh. Okay, I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, people. Alright, alright. So, so, what's going on here is... Um, I didn't realize. I kind of thought they were more like... This dooly dad. What I'll have to do is just put the pen through. Okay. Well, you put the pen through. Well, if I can get it without poking the crap out myself. Like that. And then it kind of locks back. Like that. These, however, don't do that. You have to sew it. There's these little things. See these things back here? Let's just sew them in. And then once you sew them in, then you can take the other side of the clip and then you clip them together. And I thought, oh, this would be cute as another little way to, for my clothes, to have a little closure on lower neckline stuff. Well, I'm glad I know how to sew. So I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to try it out and I'm going to sew them in. So there's one pair. Really pretty. And then here is the second pair, which was I thought were so pretty. It's, it's simple, cute, elegant, and I think it'll go well with the shirts that do have a lower neckline that are really pretty that I spent some good money on in the past. Um, so I want to be able to utilize my, my nice things 
but I'm not trying to show off of it. <laughs> it's just one of the things I, I, I prefer not to play in that sandbox. Figure. <laughs> Anyhow, so I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, um, you know, if you liked it, hit like, subscribe. Um, I don't know about sharing. If you want to share, you can. It'd be cool if you did. Um, every now and then I do share certain videos, so I do get that. But um, at the very least, hit like, maybe subscribe if you had fun here. Um, this is another uh, thing, little project. My grandson helped me with this. So I hope you guys like this, and I will tell you more about this in another haul. <laughs> Bye, y'all.